my friends, I'm Rick, and this is Drew's Seated Table, and we are continuing our, our exploration of cycle number 10. Jeez, I had a brain fart there for a minute. So one of my early uh, roles was a uh, my scout ship, Kamari, went to uh, the system GG14N and discovered a G4-2 star with two breathable planets. That's pretty significant. So in the process, I thought, well, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and go and roll them out. We wasn't really going to do a video on them, but then I thought, oh, crap. So generally speaking, my rule of thumb is when they when that sort of thing happens, the, 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 the breathable planets are actually in the same slice or same section of the solar system. So that means that there's still 90% of the solar system yet to be explored. Also that both planets have not been explored. We just noticed now the, the, the scout came in and discovered two planets. So the scout is actually orbiting one of the two planets and so I'm going to say 50-50 so odd is planet one uh, even it's planet two so odd it's our it's orbiting planet one so in this case uh, the planet I already rolled since we know it's breathable I rolled uh, on the chart and got a swamp and uh, I want to know if there's uh, moons and uh, how many so just be, that's an easy thing to know uh, 42 uh, 42 there's one moon. So moons, there are one. And as of yet, we don't know nothing about it. So, and uh, th this doesn't constitute a mineral, uh, a planetary system check or any of this stuff because we're not, uh, we just came in the system to explore the system. So all that would be on the next coming cycles. So we don't know nothing about it. So it's when I started to look at the second planet that I stopped and thought maybe I better do a video on this one because it's, it's well worth uh, rolling. Uh, the number 99 slot on the breathable planet chart is called an exotic. You add a roll from the non-breathable planet chart and then add and divide the build modifier and planetary growth modifier. So when we're looking at that perspective, we're going to have to roll basically twice. I have a breathable world uh, with a non-breathable system. So uh, I'm going to roll on the non-breathable, and we'll see what we 94. Jeez. What is my, I'm going to roll with a bunch of 90s. Oh, criminy. Uh it just gets complicated. So 94 is an exotic. Reroll on this chart, this chart twice and add and divide the BPG. All right, so uh, this is getting to be a pain in the ass. All right, so uh, it's breathable. The planet has a breathable atmosphere. Whether or not it's toxic to us or something, I don't know because that's something we may or may not want to explore. If you've already seen my uh, video on uh, my Xeno scouts getting wiped out by just stepping out of a stepping out of my drop shuttle without a, without suits on, uh, then you'll understand uh, that you may <laughs> may not want to make those rolls. But if you do, you kind of have to stick with it. You kind of want to stick with them. So in this case, uh, it says roll twice. So 78 makes it a low pressure. with a caveat of an, what is that, eight? So, eight. Roll on one of the appropriate specialty charts, then re-roll on the planet chart for the environment. For example, heavy gravity, so are you effing me? Okay, so we know it's low pressure. We still don't know what type of low pressure. So uh, this is low pressure and 92 for the type. Uh, no, we, that's, we, Come on, damn it, stop rolling nines. Jesus, 70. Uh, arid. So it's a low pressure slash arid. And it also has a caveat. Four and a seven. No naturally occurring water. Is only available if rolled as an MR. No traces. And has oxygen, but it's too cold to the atmosphere. It's too thin to breathe without specialized gear. So we know there's no water unless rolled. As an R, jeez, and I still have to make the second roll anyway because that's part of the exotics. We're getting a really, really weird world here. Uh, Eighty-seven is methane ice. Really? Which also has caveats. 
two, roll a D100, divide by 90% for available land mass. And four, no naturally occurring water. So we've already established there's the only chance of finding water here is going to be if we roll it as a, during the when we search for the mineral resources on the planet. If we roll water, then we find rot water, and the odds are going to be it's frozen water. So we have a low pressure arid methane world that's covered in methane ice. That is, that is weird. So it says, uh, so 39. 39 divided by 95. Come on, come on, wake up. Really? Oh, that's just great. Now my calculator's not working. Oh. So I got a short or something in that. So I'm Let's see, 95. So what you get for getting stuff from junk from junk dealers? Divide by, divide by 39. No, 39 divided by 95. 39 divided by 95. So we have. Oh, there we go. 0.4 percent. Okay, so. 0.4% of the surface is the actual land mass, which is going to be arid. And the rest of the planet is covered in methane ice. So C is a methane ice. No natural water, but it's breathable. And low pressure. That's a new one for me. I mean, that is a new one for me. Theoretically, you can build on this planet. You wouldn't want to, but you could. So we have to look at the build modifiers. Uh, build fire of methane ice is six and uh, low low pressure or er, arid. Er, arid er is three point so three point nine uh, three point five is uh, so nine point nine point five divide by two. So our build modifier is four point eight. It's just actually not horrific, but it's still, and it, and that's, that's, I assume that would be on that land mass. And then uh, population growth, 0 0.0015 plus 0 0.0025, 0 0.0025 equals, divide by 2 equals, Point zero zero zero. The population growth would be pretty damn low. Yeah, it's going to be tight quarters. You would probably build a, more likely, but build a dome or build underground in that last land mass, or you would use, you know. So we have another chart to go through too. A low, a planet with low atmosphere pressure would be like living at the heights of the highest mountains while standing on the ocean level. Mountaintops of such planets would be non-breathable or completely airless. Breather, uh, breathers and howie suits or ha hostile environment uh, suits would be required depending on how low the pressure is and for natives who travel off-world, high pressure worth, etc. So it would be horrific for if there's any local people living here. It would be horrific for them. Uh, or they would, I, I don't know, I mean, that's still, that's always still a possibility when you do exploration of the actual planet that you might find, uh, um, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Because we also have to, let's see you go back and redo that build modifier again, because there's, there's caveats here. What the hell is the caveats on the sun? It says, so we're going to roll to see just how much of an atmospheric pressure, uh, 65 so the atmospheric pressure is one third that of Earth. One third that of Earth. So I mean, I I imagine that would be like standing at the highest top of the Mount Everest without uh, without a without oxygen. I mean, I, I uh, that's kind of getting way out of my knowledge zone when it comes to exotic worlds and so on and so forth, but Sega said 
a plus 05 additional modifier. So the modifier is actually now going to be a 5.3. Yeah, I don't expect I'll be building anything on this planet anytime soon. Uh, breathable. That's just, wow, right? It's just some of the strangest things that can crop up. Oh, and, you know, just for the hell of it, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of how many possible moons this planet has around it. So, 27, uh, three? Three freaking moons? Okay. I mean, whatever they are, I don't know yet. So, hey. <laughs> I'm just saying, you just never freaking know. Going on, my friends. This is Rick, and hey, if you like the channel, please hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the like button, tell your buddies, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, tell anybody else that's in the gaming industry or gaming uh, fandom that says, hey, this is a channel worth checking out, right? Till next time, I hope you guys have yourself.